We won't fear. We shouldn't fear, and we will not fear. No matter what may happen to us, Christians, the world, even if the whole world implodes in an instant, we will not fear. We shouldn't fear. Because we must realize that trials and troubles and violence and terror, while they have sad results, they ravage our world and humans, the human race. These trials always make us stronger. I'm Chase Carrington with Chase the Sun. Before I get anywhere, I do want to say, pray. Pray. I prayed right before this to see if God would give me the words to say whatever I need to say. I feel like I should be behind the mic right now and say something on this topic. Usually, I do not try to do something right away. Do something when I am incredibly emotioned in one direction or the other. So that's why I like to wait until I get my information and I contemplate. But I think I've contemplated long enough on this topic. This topic of terror. Well, terrorism and violence are different. I think it's something people need to remember. That terrorism... While today it may be labeled that any act done by an extremist of any sort is immediately labeled terrorism, it's not terrorism until you're terrified of it. That's what I believe to be the truth. And we shouldn't fear any sort of attack on our faith. If you look throughout history, Christianity becomes stagnant becomes comfortable, becomes ill-equipped and unempowering when there is no persecution, when there is no fear that if I do this, I may not, if I become a Christian, it may not be fun roads ahead, but I feel like I must go into this, I must do this because I must save souls, no matter the obstacle. Because thing is, when you have troubles, then that means every person that joins Christian, that becomes a Christian, that if they become a Christian under threat of violence or any other sort of persecution, that means that they must be really, really captivated by Jesus. Because if they're lukewarm Christians, they wouldn't bother joining under the threat. And I think this is what strengthens the church. Now, there was a terror attack yesterday at roughly 5.40 Eastern Time in Manchester, in England. And it is especially sad an attack because a lot of young people and children were involved. But I really believe that terror should not be honored as Christians we should literally pray the fear away and I think it's important to fear and not to fear the only thing we want to fear is the Lord and here's the thing when you have fear when you begin to submit your actions, your will, your intentions to this fear, it becomes an idol. Something people don't think about. If you're supposed to fear God, respect Him, follow Him, then if you fear something else, to the point where you're respecting and following the wills and wishes of this fear, then it becomes an idol to you. It guides what you do. You don't listen to God. You listen to this fear. We cannot let that happen. We cannot let this fear stop us from doing what needs to be done to reach the lost, to save and protect those. I'm not against protecting people. I think we should go to every length to make sure that our families and communities are safe. But at the same time, we mustn't fear. We can learn. We can be smarter. We can defend better. But we will not fear. Because fear 
is what leads to terrorism. And I I just it's interesting. Basically terrorism, one definition is the state of fear and submission produced by terrorism or terrorization. The terroristic governing method. That's a thing. Terrorism, fear, any sort of fear is used to govern the mind. It is used to control people. If you think about it, let's say a lot of these terrorist groups, if they were to come out and just attack us head on, just, you know, guns in hand, come and attack us, they wouldn't, they'd be done in an instant if they were all just come and invade America in a few days. Yeah, it probably would be an, a battle that would be lead to a lot of death and a lot of casualties and destruction, but it wouldn't end up controlling us. It would just embolden us. It would make us stronger. We're like, we have an enemy. They're in front of us. Let's destroy them. Let's protect our homes. That happens on the front lines, but when you are back here, when you're sitting in your office and watching these headlines, that's not what happens. You think, oh no, it's terrorism. It's a threat. It could hit me at home any time. It could hit me at my next concert. It could hit me next time I walk on the street in this major city alone. This is what we need to remember. Terrorism is designed to control people. It is a version of mind control. Especially susceptible people are people who aren't on the front lines, who don't have a vision of the enemy. They don't know the scope of the enemy. They don't know how powerful they are. They don't even know, really, who could be the next soldier to plow into an enemy or plow into us. I believe, and I pray you believe, that if we pray, if we tell God we fear you more, we respect you more, we know that you will guide us way better than any terrorist with a suicide bomb will guide us. You will guide our steps and not a terrorist. Not a... Not any sort of attack or any sort of terroristic method will guide us. Fear. Fear of something that is not worth fearing. That it becomes a power draining. It is... It just, it just takes the life out of your life. Think about it, if we all feared, if we feared that any moment a terrorist attack would happen, there'd be no jobs, no work, no socializing, no events, no nothing. Life would be bleak. There'd be soldiers on every corner. But as Christians... Fear is not how we roll. That is not how we move forward. We move forward with love. That's what God uses to truly bring us to him. Then you respect him. First, he loves you. Then, when you were with him, you have respect for him. Uh, the fear of God, it is well known. That's why when you bring in bring someone to you with love we want to love on everyone and everything we want to walk through this world lovingly but also with courage love those who were previously unlovable I know that that word is something I created there but it, it's don't fear just don't fear. It's hard. I'm not the bravest person you'll probably ever meet or hear from. I wouldn't even consider myself to be a super brave guy. But I pray that the Lord will let me be brave when he needs me to be brave the most. When he needs me to listen to him. I hope 
that I have brought inspiration or I have told you, encouraged you. But here's what I want to leave you with. The biggest thing that I think is most important. Trials of any sort on any, any entity that is based off of Christ in Christianity always lets us be stronger. We are stronger than ever when it seems that our life's hanging by a thread. Because we are supposed to think that. This is how we should look at life. Because it is hanging by a thread in the long term of things. And I think we can't forget can't forget the fact that life could be over in any instant so we need to remember that we need to live every second for Christ that's why persecution has always empowered the church and may it be a powerful tool used by our Lord to rejuvenate us it is unfortunate it is sad all these terror attacks that are happening we will pray that they will end that whoever becomes involved with these different things come to Christ we pray that there are limited casualties we pray that no one gets hurt anymore but just remember If we don't fear terrorism, we don't give it any power. That's what I have for you today. I'm Chase Carrington with Chase the Sun. Thank you. Please share and pray. We all need prayer.